Preliminaries to the British-Russian conflict. Wildwood to the British ambassador. London will pay for bombing of the Nord Stream pipelines. Liz Trust blew it all up. Details will be released. And just letting people know this date is backwards. That's why it looks like 311 is really 11-3. Russia and Britain are at war, if not the brink of conflict, as Moscow handed the British ambassador evidence that Britain's involvement, both the attack in the Sevastopol and the blowing up of the Nord Stream pipeline. Along with the evidence, Moscow delivered an ultimatum to Britain and revealed that the same evidence will be made public. Russian sources speak of a very bad atmosphere at the meeting with the British ambassador where threats and promises prevailed that London will pay dearly for what happened. So it looks like Russia's really pissed off about this. They are now saying that the message between Liz Truss and Anthony Blinken are no longer a rumor and is now saying that Liz Truss made the biggest blunder in history. It seems that the British are afraid that something serious is about to happen. Let's see the sequence of events. First is the blasting of the Nord Stream pipelines. Following is the Russian missile incident against the Royal Air Force RC-135W. Later, the British Ministry of Foreign Affairs rushed to the United States, refusing to use confidential communication channels with Washington. The reason they feared that after this trust incident, the Russians had hacked their other British communication systems. And the Russian people are now calling Britain a terrorist state. This is what the UK ambassador was greeted to. And here's another one that's also saying it. Moscow says the UK is in too deep. War claims there's special forces involved in drone attack. As we got North Korea and South Korea in a major standoff right now. And then China sought something from a military spacecraft? Crazy part is, nobody knows what it is. The German Navy is going to help Norway protect its oil rigs and pipelines. The German Navy is going to help Norway protect its critical maritime infrastructure such as oil rigs, undersea cables, and pipelines. They is also ready to do the same off the Danish and Swedish coasts. This coming after Russia threatened Norway with final destruction and with an ugly fallout, which come days after Norway just raised the military alert level in response to suspicious drone sightings. Norway has arrested several Russians, including one son of an associate of Vladimir Putin's, and accused them of flying in Norwegian airspace and taking pictures. You know, it's kind of crazy that back in June, that the United States said there would be forceful measures if North Korea did a nuclear test. The same test is supposed to be happening before the elections, or on the day of the elections, or a couple of days after. Hmm, maybe North Korea knows something that we don't. I'm awake. Are you?